Welcome back to our channel, HowCat. Today, we're going to dive into a topic that's especially important for first-time cat owners. We're going to discuss the worst cat breeds for first-time owners. Now, keep in mind that every cat is unique, and there are exceptions to every rule. But we're here to provide some guidance based on general tendencies and characteristics of certain cat breeds. So, without further ado, let's get started. Number one on our list is the Siamese cat. Known for their stunning blue eyes and distinctive vocalizations, Siamese cats can be quite demanding and high maintenance. They crave attention and can become easily bored or anxious if left alone for long periods. Their high energy levels and tendency to be vocal might not be the best fit for first-time cat owners who are not prepared for their active and talkative nature. Moving on to our next breed, we have the Bengal cat. Bengals are absolutely stunning with their beautiful, exotic-looking coats. However, they are highly energetic and require a lot of physical and mental stimulation. They love to climb, explore, and play, so they need an environment that allows them to indulge in their natural instincts. For first-time cat owners who may not have the experience or time to dedicate to such an active breed, Bengals may not be the best choice. Next up, we have the Scottish Fold. These cats are known for their adorable folded ears, which give them a unique appearance. However, the genetic mutation that causes the folded ears can also lead to some health issues. Additionally, Scottish Folds can be a bit more reserved and less outgoing compared to other breeds. They may not appreciate too much rough handling or constant interaction, making them less suitable for first-time owners looking for an extremely affectionate and sociable cat. Another breed that may not be ideal for first-time owners is the SBHYNX cat. Sphinxes are hairless cats that require special care and attention. Without fur to protect them, they can be more susceptible to temperature changes and require regular bathing to keep their skin clean. They also have a higher metabolism, so they need to eat more frequently. While sphinxes can be incredibly loving and affectionate, their unique needs may be overwhelming for someone new to cat ownership. Finally, let's talk about the Maine Coon. Now, don't get us wrong, Maine Coons are absolutely wonderful cats. They are known for their large size, friendly nature, and striking appearance. However, they are one of the largest domestic cat breeds and require plenty of space to roam and play. Their thick coats also require regular grooming to prevent matting. For first-time cat owners living in smaller spaces or those who may not have the time or resources to devote to grooming, a Maine Coon might not be the best choice. And that wraps up our list of worst cat breeds for first-time owners. Remember, these are just general guidelines, and there are always exceptions. If you're considering getting a cat and you're a first-time owner, it's important to do thorough research, spend time with different breeds, and consider your lifestyle and preferences before making a decision. Thank you for watching today's video. We hope you found it informative and helpful. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.